All right, what is up, YouTube? It is your boy SelfJT coming at you with another video. Um, I shot another intro for this and then realized that the audio quality is just going to be atrocious. So I might throw some of it in here, um, but don't expect to see any of that. In fact, forget I said anything. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy StealthJT coming at you with another video. This is not going to be gaming content. This is going to be a little bit more on the IRL side, but it's not a vlog. It's not a tutorial. Uh, it's just an insight into who I am a little bit and the things that make me tick and the things that I enjoy and the things that I take part in. And I'm going to walk you through my shoe collection. And I don't, I'm not going to say it's a collection. Like, I've got 70 pairs of J's in like glass cases all like lit up with like rgb lighting like i spent more money on those than i did my pc no i i just shoes are something i've always i've always loved them. i i remember going and getting custom converse when i was in like the third grade and some kids are like oh i just like orange and they don't make orange ones like i literally got every color available on every panel available I had clown shoes. I literally called them my clown shoes, and they were dope as fuck. Looking back, they were kind of lame. <laughs> but they were something that I liked, and I think that was the first time I really realized that shoes are something that I wouldn't necessarily... I I'm passionate about shoes. I like shoes. I have a crap ton of shoes. You'll see that in a minute here. But shoes can make or break an outfit. And some people might hear that and say... The thing that's on the ground the whole time, the things that are getting dirty, are the thing that's going to change your outfit, and I would argue yes. I would say that depending on the pair of shoes you wear, it can change the tone of your outfit completely. I mean, you could be walking around in some, like, black, skinny, ripped jeans and a t-shirt. If you're wearing some, like, beat-up vans, everyone has a pair. Some old, wire, black, red vans are, like, torn up, and the laces are gross, and, like, the soles half coming off. You're running around town grabbing your your McDonald's to power up to go film your next YouTube video or run your errands or just sit on net on your couch and watch Netflix all day. But if you put on some nice Jordans or even just a pair of shoes that you take care of, some clean white vans or some clean white Harachis or any sort of lifestyle sporty, slim, clean outline clean silhouette shoe you're gonna be walking down the street you're gonna be walking back out to your car or whatever and it's gonna be the difference between like uh, and oh damn like, look at that dude's kicks and maybe that's just the way i'm wearing but i notice people's shoes and when you got dirty ass shoes i'm not judging you i'm just thinking you know you didn't take the time to put the thought into it or you just really don't care that much so mini rant over Let's go ahead and bust out some shoes. All right, now this first pair of shoes you see, it's your standard white Vans. It's nothing too crazy. I mean, everyone I feel like at one point in their life has had an old beat up pair of white Vans. You wear them all the time. They get worn down, but they never really break down. It's a staple of really any outfit. You can wear them with anything. All right, next I've got some gray Nike running shoes. I honestly don't even know what kind of running shoes these are. I literally don't remember. And yeah, that's kind of all that I have on those. They're comfortable, they're lightweight, but that's it. Ah, uh, yes, a classic. We've got your good old fashioned black Vans, the like retro, I don't know what they're called, but like the OG style. We've got that iconic wave on the side a sleek low profile that silhouette is just recognizable from anywhere and they're just clean i mean if you take good care of them these shoes will look great for a long time and they'll serve you well all right this was kind of a joke but these are great i got them at target probably like four years ago and i wear them around the house whenever i have to run outside like to take out the trash or anything like that and i don't feel like walking around in my bare feet and getting my feet dirty or my socks dirty they're kind of awesome all right, these were actually a gift from a friend who works for New Balance. Um, I don't know the exact spec of these, but they're a very lightweight lifestyle shoe. They have that kind of kind of sock top, super lightweight. You don't tie them. They're kind of like a drawstring around the neck. Very comfortable, very lightweight. Again, something you can just throw on if you have to run outside. Um, but they also look great with sweats, and they're a good athletic 
lifestyle shoe. We've got your classic, classic, classic Chuck Taylors. White, black, any color, they look great. High top, low top, however you, whatever your flavor is. I pr pretty much, I, I would say that my, my style of shoe is unassuming. Maybe not unassuming. All right, these Vans, I love. They might not be your flavor, but they are hot. They do have this it look burgundy red color that is so clean and it has this retro vibe that I absolutely love. You can wear these with literally anything and they will make you look like you put just that extra 10% of thought into your outfit. If you recognize that logo, these are some Nike Hirachis, but these aren't just your regular old Hirachis. Uh, these were sort of a, an offshoot variation that they released and I saw this color combo of the green the orange and the white and I had to swoop on them I don't normally buy anything from Nike that's like a special release or like sort of a you know something they're just trying to cash grab like oh it's the same shoe we've had before but it's different now but the color scheme on this was insane and I got them before they released any others it was this and a like blue and black and now there's a bunch of different ones but I got this before they had a bunch of these other options and the colors, and they're clean. If you guys are enjoying the video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up, drop a comment, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. If this is the kind of content you like, let me know. I'll try to make more stuff like this. We can go through and look at all my hats, all my jackets, all my other crap. Um, but yeah. So next off, here's another pair of Hirachis. Very basic, very straightforward, just your white, the old-fashioned, kind of clunkier body style. Um, they're a little hard to keep clean, you can see they are a little bit discolored. I've had them for a little while, um, but they are a good-looking shoe if you can take care of them. Classic. Everyone needs a low-top set of Adidas. If you don't have one in your arsenal, you need to go out and buy some right now. I don't care that they're dirty. Adidas were built and designed to be a shoe that you do life in. They're not a shoe that you polish when you get home and you put a freaking protector on the sole of. These are shoes you go out and you do shit in. You get them dirty. If you got Adidas, you've had them for five years and they're not dirty, you're not using them right. Alright, these are a pair of dress shoes I actually bought for my brother's wedding. All of the groomsmen had the same shoes. I barely ever wear these, but I only, I, I do wear them when I go out, like when I'm trying to dress up, up, and they just look really good, I mean, they're well built, look at that, Air Force Ones, not Jordans, ha <laughs> ha, um, I don't have money for J's, I bought these a while back, you can wear them with virtually anything, and I like the profile of the shoes, like the silhouette, I like Jordans a little bit better. I'm not a huge fan of the Velcro strap on top. That's one thing that I've never really loved about Air Force Ones. But all in all, it's not so bad. All right, these are my favorite pair of shoes I have ever purchased. These, I saw them on Instagram. They were being advertised by like some third party shoe resale. It wasn't StockX, but they were all white with the black swoosh. Really, dude? And I can't remember off the top of my head right now the name of the shoe. They're this old, retro-style sneaker, high tops, all leather, and they just look so good. My favorite thing that makes... it really seals that retro feel is that orange foam at the top of the tongue. The tongue isn't just a thin material, it's actually foam all the way through, and it's exposed. And you know, I had to custom order them. I had to Nike ID them because they weren't selling them in this color scheme. So I took the liberty of adding 10 extra dollars to have the back embroider embroidered with the Twitch TV forward slash stealth JT. So TTVS JT on the back, I think that's dope. You'll see those at TwitchCon if you see me at TwitchCon. Um, and yeah, I mean, definitely one of my favorite pairs of shoes I've ever spent money on.
All right, so that is the bulk of my shoes. I actually do have a couple other pairs here and there kind of scattered. Like I think one of them's in my trunk of my car. Um, I also have soccer cleats and stuff that I don't use very much anymore, but I do have a whole bunch of those. Um, and then there's some that are like up in storage. I just really didn't feel like digging them out. Those are all the ones that I have like readily accessible to me that I might wear on any given day. There are more shoes than that, but yeah, I mean, that's sort of my collection. That's Those are the shoes that you would actually see me put on my feet any given day. There's, I mean, everyone has those pairs of shoes that you're never, ever going to touch again, and that's cool. I mean, whatever. Everyone's got them. But that's my shoe collection. Thank you for watching. Again, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you want to see more content like this or if you want to see something different. Give me suggestions. Give me feedback. Go ahead and tell me, like, yo, your Adidas are gross. You need to get the cat hair off your ottoman. I saw that shit. It's cool. Say la vie. Am I right? Anyway, catch on the next one. Peace.